Good evening, humans. Transfer Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Sorozoic Warriors Range Brachion Nightlands version from Boss Fight Studios. I was absolutely blown away by Triax Skeever, so the question is, does this keep my love of the line going? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks badass, to put it simply, and uh, clearly it eschews the whole bright colors and 90s aesthetic to uh, favor more of a kind of tribal gothic look and I am all about that. I think it looks great and uh, certainly part of why I could not pass this up. Uh, in fact, I do not have the original version because I had to make some choices with pre-orders so I, I favor this one for now. I will be picking up the original version at some point but uh, here, I mean pretty much it's a bunch of black plastic and then they got that really nice paint job with all the kind of uh, stylized skeleton sort of look to it and it, it just it looks great it really pops uh the only color like real colors we get here are this kind of muted navy blue and uh then that kind of olive drab and uh honestly they look brighter through my phone than they do in real life uh, which is kind of the opposite of what we got when i looked at triax before so uh i think that's interesting but uh other than that the sculpt looks absolutely beautiful uh, you know, wouldn't expect any less, just there's texture absolutely everywhere. Nothing seems kind of unfinished. So uh, that's very, very cool. And the black really kind of brings out that sculpt and the scales and the skin, uh, which kind of adds to it. I definitely think that makes this version absolutely worth picking up in that regard. And, uh, you know, we look at the face and, well, the head's going to pop off. So we'll, we'll look at it straight up. So <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, kind of tribal skull sort of face paint definitely brings out that sculpt and makes this look like a very badass character um so i'm very much a fan of that and uh yeah just a really cool looking figure overall not as many accessories as we got with triax however uh definitely some good stuff here all weapons of course and uh so right off the bat we get this very nicely sculpted knife as you can see many many pointy ends this is a very um rigid plastic so the points are sharp so be aware of that we get a nice touch of uh, kind of gray paint here to kind of bring out that blade a little bit more then we get a machine gun and uh again just great sculpt all around here uh, only color we get is the silver on the tips of the bullets but uh everything else just looks great it's really good personality in this like just like the way it's it's just slightly stylized enough to like look very nice and uh got, got a little bit of bulk to it in that sculpt as well which is pretty cool and then finally we get this giant battle axe and uh yeah it just looks really cool the wraps around the uh length of the handle here then we get to that blade which again has that uh gray paint going against the edge of it can I, kind of make it pop a little bit got some wear and tear here on the blade and we get a skull tied to what looks like well obviously the blade and then also what i take to be a motor that looks pretty awesome. So I don't know what the purpose of that is to give it some velocity or something like that. It doesn't matter. It looks badass. And uh, yeah, just a really cool piece overall. So that is accessories. Articulation, balance, figure feel, all absolutely beautiful on this figure. And uh, as you can see, can hold a freestanding kick just perfectly. I This took no time to put it into, and that is absolutely fantastic. So just love that. Uh, figure feel again just like Triax that just awesome plastic that big uh, big toy store that um, Boss Fight Studio tends to use and just I, I don't know I love it it's what part of the reason I love the company so much so going into the articulation uh, as you probably kind of saw in that section where the head popped off we are on a kind of dumbbell joint uh, that goes from the head into the neck uh, so we get movement there kind of coming all the way around uh, I guess we can see it there again so that there you can see it uh, just kind of pops in the neck the head uh, pardon me the uh, mouth does open <laughs> so that so the head does you so see you get some up and down some side to side we get the mouth opening so that's excellent and then of course we have a ball joint at the bottom of the neck as well so we're coming all the way around unfortunately there's nothing else in the neck so we are stuck at this angle but uh you know some really good range going on here as well of course rotation then we get the shoulders we get a perfect T uh, so hinge and swivel there. We get single jointed elbows, bring us to about 90. Swivel there as well. We get hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal. Come down to the 
waist and we get a single ball joint, which is gonna bring us about that far forward, about that far back, and some really nice side to side. This entire middle is uh, just rubber. In fact, uh, I don't know how this is gonna show up, but uh, there is no kind of hip piece there. You can just kind of see the mechanic pieces going on there. So, uh, so yeah, we're pretty much open and that means we get full splits without any hindrance at all. That's also where rotation comes in at the thigh, single joint at the knees, bring almost 90, a little bit better than triax was. Uh, we get a rotation there as well. And then we get some really nice point, some decent forward, just a little bit, and then some really good rocker. So that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other Sorozoic warriors. With some other anthropomorphic dinosaurs. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Sorozoic Warriors range Brachion Nightlands version figure from Boss Fight Studio is that this is a lot of fun and just another great figure from not just the Sorozoic line, but from Boss Fight Studio as a whole. So uh, absolutely, I recommend picking this up. And this particular figure is a bag, big bad toy store exclusive. So that is the only place to get it. I'll have the link in the description if you are so inclined to pick this up and I definitely do recommend doing so. So uh, yeah, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So come on back. Let's talk some more toys. Let's have some more fun. And uh, yeah, so hope to see you back. I hope you're well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.